Right. Okay. Take three. Take it's three. Third take. The first time, I accidentally paused. The second time, the file didn't save. This time, we're doing it right. This time, it's either this thing wins, I mean, this thing ends up in the next one, or um, some some bad things will happen. So Waldo will happen. That's what will happen. <laughs> Don't ask him about the Waldo. Whatever, that will do, whatever. Okay, well, Tomate, moving on. Don't be, uh, don't get a weeaboo on us. Okay. Hey, I'm not a weeaboo. I just like Zawardo, okay? Okay. Whatever. Anyway, let's uh, basically have a recap of... Everything we said. Yeah. Alright, so uh, right now you're focusing on uh, coloring in that little spot of hair, even though from the reference photo that you gave me, it, it isn't exactly necessary to do so. Can you give me a reason why that is? I just felt like it, really. I mean, it's just, you know, that whole OC, OC kind of ADD thing that the artists have, and they just start drawing everywhere on the paper. I mean, you just, you know what, you know how it is. You just feel like drawing someplace, and you just start drawing there. You just draw yeah. into a place where you need to get better at. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I actually do that a lot too. Like, for example, uh, I'll be drawing like the figure and the muscle masses, and I'm sp and I'm and I constantly tell myself, okay, you cannot draw the hair. It's fun to draw the hair, but you can't do it now. You can't do it now, or you'll ruin the whole. Th oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing it anyway. And it, it's really difficult not to do that because it's just it's just a spontaneous bit of serendipity that tells you what to do. Yeah, I just, you should basically just give in when it happens like that. Yeah, just just give in or you're not going to be happy with the result. Yeah. And plus, and, uh, yeah, you don't have to do things in a formula manner when you're an exactly. artist. Exactly. You're not like Shakespeare draw, writing a comedy. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm still sketchy about Shakespeare actually being good. I mean, wait a second, wait a second. You went to a literature high school, didn't you? I mean, so yes. I Yes, I did, but I still thought Shakespeare was shit. All right then, yeah. And I don't, and I don't mean that in that I didn't understand the deep underlying tones. I mean, Romeo and Juliet is basically about two teenagers who couldn't control their hormones. Of course, Romeo and Juliet. We're talking about not just Romeo and Juliet, but like Hamlet and Othello and. Um, okay, Hamlet. I'm gonna spoil it for everybody. Everybody fucking dies. We all know that. We all know that. I mean, we should all know that. It's... Whatever, dude. I mean, honestly, it's it's no good. Okay, everybody has their own opinions, guys. You gotta, you gotta respect them. And for that matter, the Odyssey was crap, too. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Um, Getting off track, though. Yeah, let's talk about some anime. Or, yeah. uh... Uh, yeah, no, well, we're gonna we, we're gonna a little bit nerd down on you guys. Go ahead. Anyway, um, I noticed that you were taking a lot of time with the eyes, which is kind of weird to me because I'm used to drawing drawing eyes realistic or manga style in like 30 seconds flat. Because with the style that I use, it's kind of important to be able to draw those kind of things quickly because you want to get them out of the way. Like, like, but you seem to be taking a lot of time to do that. And it's not that you're slow at it, but you're careful with it, which has a lot to do with line quality. And uh, you sent me a video about line quality a while ago that's somewhere in my favorites. Um, it basically said that people who draw like anime and manga style, or just uh, in life drawing in general, the lines they do are very energetic and sharp, but what you should really focus on is, you know, just slowing down and taking your time with each line, because just doing it like scritch, scratch, scratch, instead of just going with the flow of the pencil, it, it just... Yeah, I know. It, Something it I'm not seem, doing right it makes, here. It makes it seem very generic. and Yeah. And if you just take your time with the lines, everything just comes together, and it is an overall better piece. It also helps develop a nice style instead of, yeah. of course, like you said, in New York generic. Yeah, and 
also something that help it help your drawings look not so generic is shading. I know a lot of people tend to stray away from shading because ooh, shading it's so evil because of It's it hard is. guys, it's hard. It's very hard, you know, without practice, but then again you Isn't should... everything? Isn't everything? Yeah, I know. But um, anyway Except without... no complaining. Okay, come in, sorry. Without shading, again, the sketch will just look very generic and flat, and that's not what you're going for. You're looking for something that's very eye-catching, that grabs someone's attention, it takes hold of it, and then throttles it violently. What he said, minus yes. the violent, maybe choke lovingly. Choke the bitch. Is Wayne Brady going to have to choke a... Okay, stop. Let's stop. Uh, Wayne Brady going to have to choke a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> All right. No this from the whitest guy on the planet. I know, that's what made it funny. Yes. I still have that okay. picture. If we run over time, that's what the picture is going to be. Yeah. I mean, if we get over time, that's what the picture is going to be on, um, uh, you know, the black space. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah. I do think, yes, shading is definitely important, unless you're doing line art that involves... Uh, where you're trying to get better fundamentally with like anatomy, like he said, doing mu muscle groups or doing specific types of landscape and architecture where shading isn't that important. In fact, yeah, like and, sometimes. And I can name plenty of artists who don't really focus on shading for the architecture as, uh, as much because it's not really that necessary. It's not supposed to be the main source of attention. They draw very generic, very they don't draw it flat by any means, because it's very, de it's, it has, a subtle detail, it has a subtle detail to it that makes it look, well, makes it look like it's, like it isn't as flat, but mm -hmm. also like uh, it isn't supposed to be the main source of attention. And so they just skip out on the shading entirely for that and just focus on the, you uh, figure of main attention in the sketch. I mean, that happens a lot with, like, mecha drawers, or... Well, even flash animators will do that sometimes. Yeah. And flash animators, they kind of take shortcuts, but we're not here to debate semantics, are we? No. No. I'm not even sure I know what that word means. I think I... I it. Isn't it, like... No, no, let's not, let's not embarrass ourselves. Um, yeah. So, yes... And there you go with the other side of the head. And I want to mention something real quick. Uh, the, uh, the figure's left eye is actually smaller than the figure's right eye, which is anatomically incorrect considering the face is at an angle to where the left eye should be slightly larger than the right eye. And uh, you, you were telling me something about... Uh, changing the right eye later in the video? Yeah, I will, I'm probably, um, as I really remember correctly, I'm probably I'm going to change it significantly more. And um, it's going to like, I'm going to totally erase it and do it over again because I'm not happy with it. And it's not because I'm, I, I, I just can't leave an eye like that. And, like I think there's a curse with artists and they just need to draw both eyes at the same time, usually, if you want to get it right. And... If you don't do that, then it's going to end up pretty much not how you want it to be. You know? And, uh, let's see, right here you go into great detail with, uh, the iris and just general, the inner eye, the inner eye in general. And I really can appreciate this because it looks really nice. I mean, it really does the detail, the shading, all of it is just done very nicely, and I have no idea what that is. <laughs> what Sorry, is guys. that any? It's my music player. I use Fubar 2000. Free advertisements uh. for them. Um, but, um, yeah, basically, the eye, I think, it, you need to go into great detail, and I usually do my pictures very, very big, and this one, I think, was like 2,000 picture, pixels across both ways to, to do this. Okay, we're running out of time here. So, uh, so I can go I into greater detail. Yeah. And I am talking to Peace. Okay. <sighs>
Thank God. 